despite the bestial and aggressive nature of wild animals, some people will still put their trust in them. The kind of dependency they have is incredible. There will always be people around the world who are fully committed to their relationship with the animals they love. You won't believe what these people will let these beasts do in their homes. The first storied, if you're ever brave enough to keep a giant beast as a pet that you'll probably choose a furry animal that at least it will feel good as you hug it, right? Okay, this man has a special beast pet. He lives and plays with it. This pet doesn't look like the cute animal you may expect at at the age of 65. Heine met his beloved and unique pet Wally in 2015. Heine claimed that the domestic pet was his emotional support animal, i.e. an animal that has a positive effect on a person's emotions such as calming them. It gave him much comfort in his times of pain. Generally speaking, most people would be shocked to see the two of them together. They didn't even know what to say. When they found Wally walking casually around Heine's house, yes, that was Wally. IT was a 4.5 foot long alligator. When Heine first met his beloved alligator, Wally, in 2015, he almost immediately fell in love with the wild animal. When Heine had not yet met Wally, one of his friends who worked in crocodile rescue asked him if he wanted his own crocodile. He was very interested in this. Heine has loved crocodiles all his life. He couldn't miss the opportunity to own and care for one. When Heine first adopted Wally, the crocodile showed great hesitation towards him and its new surroundings. The 61-year-old man could only feed Wally with pliers at the time because he feared one of his fingers would be bitten off. Despite this to this day, Wally has never tried to harm a human being. It only took Heine a month to tame the crocodile dot and make it feel at home. Now, Heine living with a six-year-old crocodile Wally and another five-year-old crocodile, it's so heartwarming. How can he let them just wander around without any worries? According to Heine, Crocodiles are very reminiscent of domesticated dogs. They are just like dogs, he says. He can stroke crocodiles, pick them up, dot, and feed them with his hands. Apart from that, crocodiles like to hang around the house, dot, and make huge nests out of blankets and bed sheets. He is always followed by them. Just like you see dogs following their owner, Heine spends a lot of time taking his crocodiles to local schools and senior centers for educational activities. IT was in doing so. That Heine first noticed that Wally turned out to have a calming effect on young children with developmental problems such as autism. For some reason, these children tend to calm down when in the company of crocodiles, seeing the crocodile's ability to suit the heart. Heine tried to register Wally as a service animal, because he was amazed at the crocodile helping those in need. As attempts fail, Heine decided to register his crocodile as an emotional support animal. Dogs and horses are service animals. The rules about service animals are so strict that it was too hard to prove Wally was a good animal. His attempts were easy to fail. I'm not quite sure that if there's a live crocodile curled up at the end of my bed dot or waiting behind me in line at the grocery shop, how brave I will be to stay in place, but I guess. Each animal has its own characteristics. The second story, if you think that Heine hugging Wally the crocodile is a scary thing, then wait to hear the story of this Russian couple and this wild animal, Svetlana and Yuri living in Moscow, Russia. They have been living with this terrible beast for 25 years. Let me see if you can guess what animal I'm talking about. IT has very sharp claws. It weighs more than 200 kilograms on average. IT is very hairy and is prone to anger. Can you guess? If you guessed the grizzly bear, you got it right. Yes. Svetlana and Yuri first adopted this grizzly bear named Stefan 25 years ago when it was only three months old. Initially, Stephen was found alone in the forest. IT was in a bad way. So the only thing the Russian couple could do was to save it. They soon got fell in love with their new furry friend. After 25 years, Stephen has become a special domesticated grizzly bear who thrives in a family environment. I in fact. IT even helps with daily chores around the house, yes, not only has it been adopted by Yuri, IT can also do housework, what does Steph do? First of all, IT likes watering the plants. 
and sitting on the sofa with mom and dad watching TV. There's nothing better than a cozy evening snuggled up with the owners, is there? Stephen also enjoys playing football dot and the occasional picnic. What a strange and lovely animal, according to them, Stephen loves being around people. No matter what others think, IT is a sociable bear, it's not aggressive at all, that's good news for the couple, don't you think? Maybe the only downside to having Stephen is that it eats too much food, he eats 55 pounds of fish, vegetables and eggs a day, which sounds an expensive shopping list. Although Stephen was adopted by the couple from infancy, he is still a wild animal with animal instincts. Although it has never acted wildly, that doesn't mean it won't have to. So dot, don't follow their example dot, and don't think about adopting a pet bear. Trust me dot, you'd better just watch bears in zoo. The main story, this story is the highlight of the episode. Although I personally prefer silk pillows, this man is clearly less fussy about where he puts his head to sleep. The fact that he used this wild animal as a pillow was surprising, not to mention what would happen afterwards, keep watching. And see what shocking things he gets these wild animals to do. I think most people will be scared when they think of using wild animals as pillows, let alone this kind of wild animals. In fact, IT doesn't sound very comfortable. Let's take a look at those sharp claws and teeth. If these animals have nightmares, starting running around, then catch you in this process? What if they wake up from a nightmare and attack you because of a subconscious defense? What if they dot deliberately create a false sense of security when you are asleep dot before they are about to attack you? The thought of these possibilities scares me, however, Dolph Volker didn't have these fears for a second, because he apparently felt very comfortable sleeping with them. You may be thinking, what on earth is that animal? That's a wild cheetah, what the internet users didn't know. When they saw this story was that Volker was actually a volunteer at a cheetah experience breeding center in South Africa. The story of Volker and the cheetahs began with a terrifying fantasy. Volker often woke up in the night and saw a pack of wild cheetahs sleeping beside him. The local police could not believe this either. You only need to watch the video to know that the story is false. As Volker and Cheetah are clearly not in the bedroom, but in some sort of enclosure. Therefore, for Volker, fortunately, these were not cheetahs that suddenly joined him in the dead of night. But cheetahs that he knew very well. Footage of Walker sleeping with cheetahs was filmed in 2019. And recorded at the Cheetah Experience Breeding Center. The center is home to a variety of endangered species such as lions, wild cats, wolves, and Siberian tigers. The cheetahs sleeping with Volker in the video are captive bred. Having grown up in the reserve since they were babies. A video can be seen on his YouTube channel in which the three cheetahs seen are very docile. Volker has developed a close relationship with them during his time as a volunteer at the center. Although the three cheetahs were happy to have their friend Volker with them overnight, Volker said, he didn't have a comfortable or peaceful night's sleep. As the cheetahs snuggled up to him contentedly. Volker actually had a hard time sleeping because of the heat given off by the cheetahs and the fact that they were constantly moving and adjusting their position. What do you think? I think, while this huge and unnatural connection between wildlife and humans is incredible, IT is true. Volker's adventure of sleeping with cheetahs was certainly brave, even though he knew that these animals loved him. Which wild animal do you least want to get up close to? I think I might be able to play football with a bear dot, or let a crocodile walk around me. But I don't really like sleeping next to some big cheetahs. Thanks for watching, we will see you in another video.